That was nice. Overlandstyle.com I'm a biscuit and gravy connoisseur, so. Two kidney stones. 
Just wish I had your fancy modern coil springs up there. <laughs> All right, well, good morning, folks. We're on the trail again, and I think I've lost two kidney stones on this road thus far. <laughs> Unfortunately, neither one of us have a compressor, so I had to be a bit judicious, judicious, judicious in how much I aired down so that we can make it to a gas station somewhere to top that off before we hit the hard road later on. In the meantime, this is painful. It was amazing last night sleeping in this beautiful rig. I, I'm just so excited. I know there's still a lot more work left to go, but man, a couple of totes, some basic camping gear, this thing, it's all you need. It's all you need. I just regret not getting it out sooner. But, <sighs> the nostalgia starts to wear off after about five miles of this load. <laughs> Uh, we'd be doing 30 in the Forerunner on one of these, but oh well. Let's see what we can get into. news we got it broke <laughs> I think if I keep clearing deadfall, my luck is gonna run out and I'm gonna need an urgent care. Do you know if there's an urgent care nearby? I mean, just, just in case. No emergency services, but I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express one, so we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I'm kinda kicking myself for not bringing my battery powered chainsaw. It's such, such a easier way of going about it. No one's been injured, so I call that a win. Yeah, but we get a lot more views. Might hurry up and get hurt.
hearted, but no three wheelers allowed. <laughs> oh man. That's the most specific sign I've ever seen. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I wonder what year that was put up. Sorry, folks. No three-wheelers. <laughs> Couple of gray beasts. Yeah. Mine looks really blue next to yours, though. Well, yours looks like a well-cared-for piece of machinery, and this looks like an abandoned vehicle. <laughs> Not at all. Yours, is, <laughs> yours has just got some stories behind it. Mine used to look that way. I covered it all up. Oh, you just sneaked under that perfectly. Good. <laughs> Fuck her up a little bit. Alright, well, this has just been delightful, um, if not kidney shattering, but totally worth it. Man, is this thing a beast or what? I freaking love this thing, y'all. I love it. I love it. And you can't ask for a prettier place to break her in off-road. Now it's time to find camp, because I'm starving. And honestly, kind of wore out.
these tongs are okay for some things and some things are not. Yeah, bro. That's what we want. Fire, baby. <laughs> Yeah. You can't set up the camera. You have to eat it. I know, right? This is the hardest part. You want to get the shot. But... Oh, yeah. I think that'll do just fine. I like the safety stick. <laughs> You gotta eat at least one asparagus on camera. <laughs> For you, babe. Yum. Yum. Mm -hmm. Yum. Well, Chris, yet again, another fantastic time here in Utah with you. I had. An absolute blast, and that's an understatement. Yeah. I uh, was very impressed with the Defender. I think you picked a very fun rig to play with. I enjoy it. It is impressive out here on the four-lane highway. Not so much. Yeah, it, it definitely <laughs> prefers to be in the wild. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what a pair. I think, uh, I think that this was an excellent opportunity to get out and shake these things a little bit more and Fill it in your bones, so to speak, with a bit of a vintage overland experience. Yeah, it was the first time that I've ever been on an exclusively right-hand drive run. Although, <laughs> granted, it's only two of us. It's still... Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't happen very often. <laughs> no. Nobody attempted to get in the passenger side, though. That usually happens to me yes. at some point. Now, when I get back, I'll go to get in the forerunner, and I guarantee you I'll hop in the passenger seat and go. <laughs> but, man... I think we're the first ones up here on some of these roads. I know we were. Yeah. And wow. No previous a... tracks in the snow, mm -hmm. a lot of deadfall. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I'll be back. Yeah. This place is incredible. Yeah. I'm ready to be done with the desert, to be honest with you. <laughs> I've had enough dust. I'm still coughing it all up from the last run. Yeah. So. And now you have mosquitoes. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well. Man, I can't thank you enough for doing this run with me and wish you the best of luck on your travels northwest from here. Thank you for having Shannon Finnegan and I and uh, for being our hosts this past week. Glad Appreciate to do it. it. Glad to do it. Stop back anytime. Yeah. And just so you guys know, I'm going to drop a little early hint. The Defender is going to be going up for sale. So when it does, I'll put a little link <laughs> down below. And uh, yeah, jump all over that thing because it is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's ready for adventure now, but it could really benefit from uh, being in someone's garage and someone with the tools and the time to just tinker with it. Mm -hmm. I live on the road full time, so that leaves pretty much uh, basic hand tools and Walmart parking lots, and that's not really a good life for a classic defender someone else can give it a better home although i do love the truck it's extremely capable and it's got a ton of personality i don't need a fourth one but i definitely lusted over it driving <laughs> behind it today multiple times so yeah hopefully i'll go to a good home and i hope so too on, so. all right man well it's been fun we'll see you on the next one yeah likewise until next time you know what to do Stay curious and leave it better than you found it. Cheers.
Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> well, that was fun. This trip has been top 10, top 10. And it's special because it's with Chris in his classic and with the beast for its maiden off-road voyage and its current trim. So, <sighs> good times, such good times. All right, time to get some sleep. Cause I'm wore out. See you in the morning.